Good morning, Hockey Family. Etienne from Field Hockey Education. In today's coaching video, we'll be doing a nice little junior drill. With this junior drill, you will teach your players how to build up in a way where they can give and go, lead into space where they can get the ball again and get into positions into the circle for options to score or short corners. But it's a nice little introductory phase to show how to build up. Um, you can use this past juniors as well. You as a coach just needs to adjust it according to your age group that you have. So I hope you can use this in your next training session. Thank you for watching this video and let's go. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video. So with this nice little build up give and go junior draw that you can do with your team, you can set it up on both sides um, and you can have it, this side goes first, if they take a shot the next side can go. But it's a really basic type of one, it will start at player number one, player number one will pass to player number two. As soon as player one passes the ball, they need to start making a lead towards the circle. Player two will receive going towards the circle. So they will try and open receive or close receive in a way that they're going towards the circle and they can actually pass the ball back to player number two. So if they receive it, they need to pass the ball straight back to player number two. As soon as, or player number one, as soon as that happens, player number three is going to make a lead into the T point area. As soon as they make that lead, player one is going to pass the ball to player three that's going to receive it at T point. After player two pass the ball, they're going to start making a lead around player one and into the circle area. After player one pass the ball, they're going to make a lead more or less to the 90 area of the circle. Because now, as soon as player 3 receives the ball and drives back into the circle, they have one, two options to pass to. And then they can decide if they want to pass it straight back to player 1, or want to pass it straight to 2, 2 is going to receive it and then try and take a shot on goal. But player number 3, they need to try and dribble a little bit longer in this so they can draw the keeper towards them to make this 1-2 pass really easy for player number Two to tap in but if they're going to pass it on the first line the keeper is going to be as soon as the ball gets to player number two the keeper is going to readjust and it's going to be difficult to get the ball in so they need to try and just dribble a little bit more to more or less there to more or less there and then as soon as the keeper is a little bit drawn towards them then they pass it just to make it easy to just tap it in as soon as this side's done you're going to do exactly the same on this side and then if you if they get used to this you can even put in a little bit of the fenders in just for like small little pressure somewhere in the field and um, from there you can just adjust it as a coach but this is just a nice little way of teaching your players how to build up a little bit using your pace using the passing and moving into space for the player on the ball to have options to pass to so that was the nice little drill that you can use with your junior team to start teaching them how to build up in little small sections and also just teaching them how to if you give the ball you have to move forward to be able to give an option to the player on the ball
So I hope you can use this in the next training session. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the support in this channel. I really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.